Effects of the Afghan Refugee Crisis on Neighboring Countries by Dethia Janjanum. The summary of the crisis is that because of the Afghan war, there are many refugees who are seeking asylum in neighboring countries and are living in makeshift camps along political borders, leading to a, a refugee crisis that still continues today. Connections. My first connection is topic 2.5. The associated course vocabulary is total fertility rates, crude death rates. How this is connected is that the total fertility rates and death rates of Afghan and Pakistan are impacting the demographic transition model of Pakistan, along with the population pyramids. Topic 2.12. The associated course vocabulary is forced migration and political factors. How this is connected is that many Afghans migrated because of the war. War is a common reason of forced migration. There was a war because of political unrest between the government between the government of Afghanistan and the Taliban. Topic 2.11. The associated course vocabulary is asylum. How this is connected is that many Afghans that fled Afghanistan are seeking asylum in neighboring countries, especially Pakistan and Iran. Other countries that they're seeking asylum in are Turkey, Lebanon, Ethiopia, Jordan, Kenya, Uganda, Congo, and Germany. Lastly, I've taught lesson 2.8. The associated course vocabulary is contraception. How this is connected is that many Afghan girls that are in their reproductive ages are not, rep are not reproducing because they do not want to have children yet or, or are unable to have children because of the poor healthcare systems in the makeshift camps. Analysis and plan of action. Analysis of the issue. Afghans' war started off as a civil war with the overthrowing of King Zahir Shah by his, by his cousin Mohammed Dahur Khan. In December of 1949, Soviet troops prompted the United States, Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia and China, its Cold War rivals, to support the rebels that were fighting against Afghanistan. In 1994, Mohammed Omar, along with Abdul Ghani Bardar, created the Taliban movement. During the Taliban's early regimes, they had many victories as well as many losses. Pakistan was a supporter of the Taliban. Because of the Taliban, almost 100,000 U.S. troops were deployed in Afghanistan in 2001. After 2014, the U.S. started to bring their troops back home. As of 2021, there are only 2,500 troops left. Because of all this fighting, war, and threats to the Taliban, People don't feel safe, so they are moving away and are considered refugees. The Afghan refugee population is considered to be the largest in the world. There are 2.7 million displaced persons and 8,300,000 internally displaced persons. Iran and Pakistan, the only countries accepting asylum seekers and refugees from Afghanistan legally are Iran and Pakistan. All of these refugees in Iran and Pakistan are hurting the host nations. In 12 of the Afghan camps in Pakistan, the leading cause of death for the reproductive age women was not having access to proper health care and childbirth. Infant mortality rate was also increased because the babies and the mothers don't have access to pre- and postnatal care. All of these deaths are increasing the crude death rate of Pakistan and decreasing Pakistan's crude birth rate. In 2014, the U.S. troops started to leave. Many Afghanistan who worked for the Marine bases lost their jobs. This made them and their families more vulnerable, and the Taliban were threatening these families specifically. The threat scared the families so much that they left Afghanistan and moved to Turkey, Greece, and other parts of Europe illegally. My plans of action are that if the United, in the United, in the remaining U.S. camps, the healthcare system in Afghanistan should be better so that many women and children won't have to die. Since Pakistan and Iran are accepting refugees, they should at least try to make their refugees comfortable and have some sort of priority list, such as pregnant women first, and then injured people, women, and other members of the group. I think that Turkey, Greece, and other parts of Europe should accept the newcomers with open hands and understand the pain that they are going through. And lastly, the U.S. should not take the troops out of Afghanistan until the Taliban are defeated. This is because the smaller portion of the troops only provokes the out-Taliban and leads to more displaced persons. This is my bibliography. Thank you.